Yeah, that was such a unique kind of artistic expression there with it, you know, projected on the side of the building. Uh, great night to get out and about and maybe check out something like that. We did see those temperatures near 80 today, but I guess as Robert Sir is about to tell us, don't get used to it, right? Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, things are going to cool off a little bit tomorrow, a couple of degrees cooler, and then uh, as the rain moves in, it'll definitely have some rain cooled air in there. Nothing like that right now in Fort Smith, a toasty day out there. Almost record setting, just four degrees shy of that all time record set way back in 1989 of 89 degrees all the way up to 85 today. Fayetteville also a warm day, almost uh, getting to that record there a degree short. You were so close, but still 86 was the record set today in 1939 temperatures for your neighborhood right now. Not too bad. Mostly most everybody's in the lower 70s. All that cloud cover really acting to put a lid and not allowing that daytime heating to radiate back up into the atmosphere. So it's going to be a warm night out there tonight and a wet day out there on Wednesday as we watch this system move well to our north. But all of that moisture out ahead of it will stream into our area. You can see by tomorrow night just a couple of scattered showers. But as we go overnight Tuesday and into Wednesday, that's when that rain really starts to roll in here could be some very heavy rainfall. We're talking rainfall rates one to two inches per hour at times, and there could be some embedded uh, strong to severe thunderstorms here, and a lot of this is going to move over the same area. What we call training uh, as this front continues to slide through multiple inches of rain certainly possible here. You can see it looks like about three, two to four to five inches certainly possible models really kind of dancing all over the place. But again, some of these numbers could be record setting, not just for April 28th, as you see there, Bentonville and Fayetteville, but they could, if we get enough rain, break all time single day April records, which is almost four inches in Bentonville, five inches in Fayetteville. I don't think we'll break that, but we might get close. Same thing in the River Valley. You may smash uh, daily records and maybe your all time monthly record for one day also could lead all that rain to possible river flooding. If you live along any of these basins here, you're going to want to keep an eye on that water because it could be rising fast. Lows tonight kind of warm, as I said, well above average, mostly in the lower 60s, rebounding tomorrow, upper 70s and still a few lower 80s for the River Valley. Extended forecast, plenty of rain late Tuesday night. We do have an impact a day for Tuesday, but it's going to be an impact night, probably not starting till 9 or 10 o'clock. I think most of Tuesday will be dry and then most of Wednesday will be wet before that rain starts to finally taper off as we get into early Thursday morning. But once the rain ends as for both Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley, the weekend is starting to look quite nice. Brandon with temperatures in the upper 70s and lots of sunshine. All right, thank you, Rob. We just have to get through a, a few days before that nice weather comes, right? All right, well, just ahead, we'll hear from Dave Van Horn about how a resting pitching staff could help the Hogs this weekend down in Baton Rouge. And the softball Hogs started off with a bang against Mizzou, but could they close the deal? The highlights next on your Hog Wild Report.